Praise our God, all you his saints, and those who revere him, the small and the great. The Lord is King, our God, the Almighty. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. May the Lord be with you. Today, my brothers and sisters, we celebrate the Feast of All Saints of the Franciscan family. The time that we see our Franciscan brothers and sisters who have gone ahead of us, who have lived and loved and served, as did our Holy Father Francis, Holy Mother Claire. And we ask God to give us the strength and courage to follow in their footsteps as they followed Francis and as Francis followed Jesus. That is what our vocation as Franciscans is to be. So we begin this Mass as we begin every Mass by calling to mind our sins and asking forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. And I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Holy Father Francis, and all the angels and saints to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty eternal God, you were pleased to make your church illustrious through the very splendor of the saints of the seraphic order. As we venerate their memory in this one festival, may we also follow the shining examples of virtues on earth and thus obtain merited crowns in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of Sirach. Let, our, let us praise these men of great renown, our ancestors each in his own time. These were godly men whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. Through God's covenant with them, their families endure, their family endures, their posterity for their sake, and for all time their progeny will endure. Their glory will never be blotted out. Their bodies are peacefully laid away, but their name lives on and on. At gatherings, their wisdom is for retold, and the assembly proclaims their praise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the people that seeks for you, O Lord. The Lord's are the earth in its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. This is the people that seeks for you, O Lord. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. This is the people that seeks for you, O Lord. We shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seek for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. This is the people that seeks for you, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. This is true family, which overcomes the strife of the world. They followed the Lord and attained the heavenly kingdom. Alleluia. Almighty God, cleanse my mind and my lips, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man came running up, knelt down before him, and asked, Good teacher, what must I do to share an everlasting life? Jesus answered, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. 
You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied, Teacher, I have kept all of these things since my childhood. And Jesus looked at him with love and told him, There is one thing more you must do. Go and sell what you have. Give it to the poor. You will then have treasure in heaven. After that, come and follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of the Holy Gospel, wipe away our sins. As I mentioned earlier, today we are keeping the feast of all the saints of the Franciscan Order. And in this celebration, we remember not only those that we know, but also those who were hidden away in their friary, in their convent or monastery, who were secular Franciscans living life in the world, and those who just looked to Francis for inspiration in following Jesus. Our first reading, although it just says these men, it includes also the women who were followers. For like Jesus, there were just as many women who followed Francis as there were men, both as religious and as a third order Franciscan in the world. Let us praise these men and women of renown, our ancestors, each in their own time. They were godly, whose virtues have not been forgotten. That's how it is with our family members, with those of us who belong to the Franciscan family, whether first, second, or third order. We look back to our brothers and sisters and also back to our Holy Father Francis and Holy Mother Claire. We are not all called to follow in Francis' footsteps as strictly as he felt himself called, but we all share a part of his spirit to seek to follow Christ, to walk in the footsteps of Jesus, to live in poverty of spirit, if not in actual physical poverty, to embrace the cross. God forbid that we should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. For through it we are crucified to the world and the world to us. We are not called, as was Francis, to actually bear the wounds of Christ in our physical bodies. But we can share in his suffering, through our everyday sufferings. And Jesus says, there's one thing more you must do. Go and sow what you have and give it to the poor. Then you will have treasure in heaven. After that, come and follow me. There are those who are, are called to actually give up everything they own to follow Jesus. Not all of us have that calling. But we do have the calling to not allow physical goods to obsess us to the point where we lose sight of what is important. We are called to share our goods, our earthly goods, with those who have none or who have little. We are called to serve, as Jesus called this young man to come and serve in his name. That is what it means to be a Franciscan, to love Jesus, to do our best to walk in Jesus' footsteps, by following the example of Francis of Assisi, to love and give, love and give. That's the whole message of the gospel, to love and to give, and to follow in Jesus' steps. That is the life of Francis of Assisi. That is the life that those of us who follow his footsteps, as he walked in the footsteps of Jesus, to live a life of love and service, to love the cross, 
carry our own cross into the world and bear it in Jesus' name. We are called to be other Jesus, to walk like Jesus, to preach with our life like Jesus, to minister to the sick, the hungry, the sorrowful, the lonely, as did Jesus, and hope that one day we too may be able to join our other Franciscan and brothers and sisters from all ages to praise Jesus with Francis, with Claire, with all of those myriads of followers of Francis and the Franciscan way of life. Let us pray. Let us pray that as Francis walked in the footsteps of Christ, we may too walk in the footsteps of Francis as his sons and daughters, brothers and sisters. That the church may always follow the example set by Francis as she seeks to serve a broken, suffering humanity. And may she always do it in a spirit of humility and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who follow the call to follow Francis may seek to imitate his love for creation and service to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parishes and church communities around the world, that we may always seek to reach out to all men and women, offering them a place of healing, peace, and welcome. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We may always carry the spirit of Francis into our communities, cities, towns, and countries, always being instruments of the peace that passes all understanding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as Francis embraced the leper and seeing Christ in his wounds, we, may, we too may always be of service in caring for the sick, the suffering, and the outcast. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Hear our prayer. For all of our deceased family, friends, loved ones, benefactors, and all the dead, that they may be joined with Francis as he rejoices with the angels for all eternity, and that one day we too will be one with them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked us to pray for them, for those we have promised to pray for, and those who stand most in need of our prayers, that they may be granted the graces needed most in their lives each day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your own petitions. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, make us an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Now let us pray for all of our deceased family, friends, loved ones, and all those who are known only to the Lord. For Leopoldo Menoza Obregon, J. Scott Vandermee, Robbie Winnick, Carmen Flores, Alfredo Rangel, John and Bernice Davidson, James Davidson, James and Palmyra Casey, Henry and Dora Davidson, Laura High, Gary Davidson, for all of my deceased aunts, uncles, and family members, for Charlie and Carolyn Menke, Doug Menke, Andrew, Michelle, Sue Kinnick, Linda Bomey, Gary Mitchell, Jim Shaner, Adolf, Felicia and Mike Beckman, Alexander and Stephanie Belinsky, Ken Edens, Dick Fennell, Barbara Brown, Clarence and Grace Whitehead, John and Martha Aldridge, Mrs. Little, the mother of Ray, Joe Workman, Ed and Dorothy Sullivan, John Dugan, Francisco Garcia, Daniel O'Connell, John Green Gould, Dean Mortimer, Terrence Fry, Justin Gilbert, Philip Watson, 
Dan Doherty, Venus Acosta, Bobby Boover, Ginger Allman, James Combs, Joseph Kreshevsky, Joseph and John Gamino, Justin Gilbert, Philip Watson, Mary, Mary Lindsay, Leroy, Alice, Steve Swan, Mary Kallstrom, Grandpa and Grandma Kelly, Sean Kelly, John Clegg. For Stacy Wilhelm's mom, dad, her aunts, Barbara and Diane, Wanda Baca, Felix Baca, Richard and Mary Lee, Warren and Lee Yarbrough, Hazel and Archie Bartholomew, Pearl and William Lee, Julie Lee, Larry Lee, Marjorie Lee, Charles Lee, Frank Dumbler, Fran and Paul Dumbler, Bud and Dorothy Reeves, Patty Osmer, Connie Powell, Peg Rose, Mary Ellen Bowley, Anthony Smith, Jesus Garcia, John Allen and Rena Sealert, Ferris and Goldie Sealert, Zora Small, Alan and Virginia Sealert, B and Bill Drury, Chester and Mary Guatney, Royce Guatney, Robert Guatney, Salvador Vega Jr., Archbishop Robert Lane, Archbishop Nicholas, Galina, Anna Maria Theodore, Vladimir Olena, Alexander, Anna, Lev, Oksana, Irina, Zainan, Zainan, Ivan, Ivana, Bogdan, Ivana, Lorenzo and Mary Cer Maria Cervantes, Felipe and Josephine Cervantes, Joseph and Francis Cervantes, Manuel Cervantes, Antonio, Mary Dolores Ernesto, Vicente and Juanita Reynoso, Salvador and Eulalia Vega, John, Rene and Alice Vega, Ralph and Phyllis Vega, Tom and Sally Garcia, Gloria Hernandez, Juanita Munoz, Alvina Hartman, Memo and Ramona Zavala, Margaret Zavala, Tony Tinoco, Dolores and Valentine Corona, Isabel Cecil and Danny Camarena, Carol and Bob Garcia, Bill and Jason Cornack, Tommy Hernandez, Keith Lang, Macario and Guadalupe Torres, Vicente and Maria Arredondo, Raymond and Beatriz Hernandez, John, Alice, and Rita Rivera, Patty and Diana Rivera, Salvador Ramos, John Chavez, Vicente and Mary Tetuan, Jesse and Jenny Tetuan, Veronica and Jean Box and family, Leandra Aguillera, Gabriel and Adelaida Ortiz and family, Joe Ortiz, Jose and Esther Zarazu and family, Modesto and Candidio Guerrero and family, Bill Guerrero, Carlos Castro, Patty and Gloria Ramirez, Philip Cervantes, Gary Clark, Greg and Monte and Monte Ramirez, Father Jack Shaughnessy, Sebastian Riotto, Catherine Gast, for all those who are forgotten and have no one to remember them. In the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merits of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may whatever good they have done or evil they have endured be for them the remission of sins, the fullness of grace, and the reward of everlasting life. Eternal rest run unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of your departed servants the remission of their sins, that through our prayers they may obtain the pardon they have always desired. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May they rest in peace. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands of me, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. The mystery of this water and wine may become to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 
Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the gifts we have for you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, may the gifts we devoutly offer in honor of all the saints of the seraphic order be pleasing to you. May those whom we believe secure in their immortality be solicitous also for our salvation. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. You are glorified in your saints. In their glory is the crowning of your gifts. In their lives on earth, you give us an example in our communion with them, you give us their friendship. In their prayers for the church, you give us strength and protection. This great company of witnesses spurs us on to victory to share their prize of everlasting glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. With the angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, we sing your unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father, you are holy indeed, and all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. From age to age you gather a people to yourself, so that from east to west a perfect offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Father, we bring you these gifts. We ask you to make them holy by the power of your Spirit, that they may become for us the body and blood your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was betrayed, he, gave you, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Savior of the world. Father, calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and ready to greet him when he comes again, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering and see the victim whose death has reconciled us to yourself, that we who are nourished by his body and blood may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. You make us an everlasting gift to you. Enable us to share in the inheritance of your saints with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, St. Francis, St. Clair, St. Anthony, St. Elizabeth, St. Louis, all the holy Franciscans, and all your saints, on whose constant intercession we rely for help. Lord, may this sacrifice which has made our peace with you advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Pope Francis, our Bishop Stephen, with all the bishops and the clergy and the entire people your son has gained for you. Father, hear the prayers of the family you have gathered here before you. In mercy and love, unite all your children, wherever they may be. Welcome into your kingdom our departed brothers and sisters and all who have left this world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy forever the vision of your glory through Christ our Lord, from whom all good things come. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen.
us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of our unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. St. Francis chose for the martyr the, the motto of his order, Pax et Bonum, which means peace and all good. And that is what Jesus wishes for each of us, peace and all good. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal life to us to receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring any condemnation, but health and mind and body. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Happy are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy are those who suffer persecution for justice' sake. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Lord, we see these gifts of purity in heart, may they be with you in your strength now and forever. Let us pray. God, our Father, you nourish us with one bread and sustain us with one hope. Strengthen us likewise with your grace, so that one with your saints in body and spirit in Christ, we may all be raised up to glory with him, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now a blessing with relics of several Franciscan saints, Francis, St. Anthony, St. Clair, Elizabeth of Hungary, and Holy Capuchins. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. And may these holy Franciscans pray for us.
that one day we may all join together in praising the Lord. Thanks be to God. Toto pulcra es Maria. Toto pulcra es Maria. Et macula originalis non est in te. Et macula originalis non est in te. To Gloria Jerusalem, to Laetitia Israel. To una fora cincia populi nostri, to advocata. Pecatorum. O Maria, O Maria, Virgo prudentissima, Mater clementissima, Ora pro nobis, Intercede pro nobis, A Dominum, Jesu Pray for us, O Holy Father Francis. Pray for us, O Holy Franciscans. Amen.